Hi there, and welcome to our online class. My name is Tammy White, and today we are going to be playing with Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Okay, I promise not to sing that too much, but I feel like you have to sing it when you're making this card because it's so cute, so fun. I'm going to teach you a couple of really cool techniques with this too. We're going to be doing some coloring with the stamp and blends, and we are also going to do a mirror image. So I'm going to show you how to make the, the shark actually mirror himself and face himself, um, which is kind of cool. And I'm also going to show you how to um, do some word elimination. So the words I love you are actually all in one long strip on a stamp. And I'm going to show you how to uh, make it so that it fits in this block. Really quick and easy techniques, super fun, super fun card. And this is the new uh, Shark Frenzy Bundle from Stampin' Up! It just came out in the new uh, holiday catalog and the holiday catalog actually just launched, I'm sorry, <laughs> this January, June spring catalog, I got holiday on my mind. And uh, that just actually came out on Tuesday. So just a couple of days ago. And this is a super, super fun bundle. I think you're going to enjoy playing with it today. Um, I do have, as always, a giveaway for you guys. I appreciate you all joining, whether you're joining on YouTube or Facebook or watching a replay later on either of those social media networks or on Pinterest I uh, or on my blog even. Welcome. If you leave a comment here on the original video, either Facebook or YouTube, I will be drawing a winner. One lucky winner is going to win the Approaching Perfection stamp set right after this video. So I'll draw one from the live comments. And then um, on January 18th, I will draw a second one. This is a celebration set, another new set that's just come out, Approaching Perfection. And if you share this video onto a social media platform and type the word shared into the original video, so I, I know that you shared it, onto your second time. Okay, so let's get started. So cute. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. I really do. I, I, I love the sharks. I feel like Shark Week is going to be a lot of fun with this. <laughs> But right now we got we got baby shark. <laughs> so I made I made this into the uh, shark family photo. So we've got, you know, mommy shark, daddy shark, and then we've got baby shark. And there's all little pieces that you can put on here. We'll decorate mommy shark with some eyelashes and some lipstick and daddy. Sh you could make grandpa shark and you can, you know, grandma shark. Let's go like this. Grandma shark. Doo -doo, you know, because she's got the dentures and then we've got daddy shark. If you guys have not seen the baby shark video, it's the most watched video on YouTube. No joke. It is absolutely, it's got, I forget how many billion views on YouTube and I'm, I'm sure I'm just adding to it right now, but it's stuck in my head and I can't stop it. So there is a matching uh, die set that comes with this stamp set and it might actually help if I just show it to you this way. Sometimes you can see the dies a little bit better and you can see how they cut out the pieces of the stamp set and they're just made to coordinate perfectly. So we're going to play with those two together today. So let's get started stamping and um, move some of this out of the way. So I think maybe we'll start with our basic stamping. So I'm going to start with this layer and I have all of these measurements on the free PDF, which is on the resource page. So every video class that I do here has its own resource page where you will find all of the information for everything that I'm making today. And that's at stampwithtammy.com. Now, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, there is a link in the video's description and it says resource page, click it. It will bring you right to this page. So you don't have to go searching on the, on the site. It, it's a quick, easy button to find what you need. And on that, I have a free PDF for this project and it has the supplies that I'm using today. It has hot links to them in my online store. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll also find those in the video's description as well. You can find them in either place and um, some other information on this free PDF. So the measurements, and um, even a QR code to get back to that, that resource page. And I will have a replay of this video there as well. So our little do, 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 that comes from the stamp set. So cute. And you know what? Hey, if it's shark week and you want to go do, 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 you can, you can sing it that way too. <laughs> you have options. You know, you don't have to have little kids to love this or grandkids to love this because my kids aren't little anymore, but my son's birthday is next week and I can't, he's, he's home right now. I'm, I'm, he's going to be 20. He's getting this card for his birthday. He doesn't know it yet, but it's happening. <laughs> you don't have to be a little kid. All right. So when I attached the stamp to this, it's kind of a straight stamp and I kind of just attached it at a, giving it a little bit of a curve there. So it has just a little dramatic curve. So it looks like a little wave. 
and then I'm going to stamp that twice. And I'm intentionally going off the edge here. So it just keeps going. Do, 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 or do, 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 however you choose to read it. And then I'll just put that aside. That's going to be um, one of our background images. Let's go ahead and do some stamping on the square. So we've got four squares for their family photo. We've got three sharks and you can customize your sharks for your family or for whoever's family you're making them for. So for example, I've got mommy and daddy shark here and baby's got a little pink bow, but you could make anything you wanted there. If you had, if you were giving this to three friends, you could have three mommy sharks. If you were giving it, if, you know, there were siblings, you could do sibling sharks on there. You can do little boy shark, little, whatever you want. You can totally make here. Um, and so I, I tried to make this look like little Polaroid shots here is what I was, you know, that was what was in my head when I was designing the card. So I took the I Love You stamp from that stamp set. And as you can see, the I Love You stamp, it's one straight line here. And when I go to stamp it, it might fit in the square, but it would be so tight that it wouldn't look right. And so I, what I decided to do was stamp the U underneath the I Love. And so I'm going to take the, uh, just a, a post note for this. And I'll, I'll show you how to do this really quick and easy. And another way to do this is you can actually cut the stamp because you can always piece it back together if you wanted to use it in one straight line. But um, in addition to cutting the stamp, this is a simple one that doesn't involve cutting the stamp. So all I did was I put the posty note over the word you. So it says, I love, I'm going to ink it up. I'm using uh, Memento ink today. It's black. Take the posty off before I stamp it. That's pretty important. And then we're going to stamp it right in the middle. So now we have I love. You is not a part of it yet. We, <laughs> I do love you. <laughs> and it is going to be a part of the card, but it's not on there yet. Uh, what I want to do is just make sure that I get that good and cleaned off really uh, well. I'm, I'm just using chamois. This is a simple chamois just to uh, wash that off. So I'm just testing it, making sure there's no marks left behind before I do the next part, which is I'm doing exactly the same. You can even use the same posty note and stick. And now I'm doing the opposite. It's going over the I love. And so I've only inked up the word you and we'll stamp that right underneath. Ta-da! So there we go. There's one, but technique number one, how to eliminate uh, words on the stamp or, you know, to, to be able to, to rearrange it so that it fits in the space that you want it to fit in. So that is square number one. Next up, we're going to do mirror images. So the shark image goes one way. He or she, however you choose to uh, use it, stamps uh, faces this way. So right here, mommy shark is facing this way, but daddy shark is, has a mirror image. He's actually facing the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and stamp mommy shark and then I'll show you how I did the mirror image. I, um, I had posted this card on my uh, stampatami.com blog earlier this week and oh, it just went viral. Everybody loved it so much and there were so many, I, lo I love you guys so much, so many comments on it that I was like, oh, we need to do a video. <laughs> I'm not the only one in love with the sharks. Okay, so we've got Mama Shark. I'm just taking her head, so we don't we don't need the rest of her here. And so it's just a, it's, it's a portrait. It's a headshot, Mommy Shark. Okay, so I'm going to take another. Now, here's the, here's the magic of the mirror um, image. And this one's actually really easy. This is a silicon mat. I get these in my online store. I actually, when I'm, when I'm crafting, I usually have, like, multiples of these on hand. I do most of my adhesive on them, and... I use them for just pretty much everything. Like I'm doing a lot, you know, sometimes when I'm on video, I don't always have it underneath me, but when I'm actually stamping and making a mess, they're always underneath me. I'm stamping the shark image on the silicone mat. So now it's facing one way and here's how we get the mirror. I line up the cardstock to how I want it to go on there. And then I'm gonna press it down. And I am using a uh, basic white cardstock today. If uh, you are familiar uh, with Stampin' Up! in our Whisper White, which was the best white in the world, um, you may have heard that the factory that makes that Whisper White shut down due to COVID issues and not just not being able to stay in business. And so we have just come out with Basic White and it is now available. So if you were not, if you were waiting on your white because it was sold out and not sure, it's now available. So. I'm just pressing all over the back of this. You don't need to press quite that long. I was just talking. So, <laughs> and 
and then just carefully lift it up so that you don't uh, slide it anywhere. And we have got Daddy Shark, yay, and he is a mirror image of Mommy Shark. And this silicone mat, it's good for so many things, right? So all you need is, um, if you if you had um, wipies, which I normally have handy, but I, I, I opened up the, the pack today, the, the hand wipes, and they were all dried out. So I guess that wasn't going to work. So I'm using Windex today in a, in a uh, paper towel. But you could also use um, just water, water, anything. This, it doesn't really stay on this mat. Like it'll, it'll, the ink will stay there, but it doesn't dry on it. So it's easy to just wipe that right off. All right. So now we've got our images. Oh, we've got one more. Actually, we've got a couple more images we want to stamp here. I'm going to bring in the scrap paper. And we are going to stamp baby shark. So cute, right? So little shark. I'm going to make it little girl. I'm going to give her a little bow. There's all kinds of little pieces that you can add on to your sharks. Um, so we've got, I've got her in her little bow. We're going to color her in in just a minute. But first, let's dress Mommy Shark up. We can give her pearls. We can give her uh, this. Let's see what else we got in here. And these little pieces cut out the little, um, all the little things. So she can, she can have a, a necklace on here. She can have a little handbag on there. We can do just about a little hat, whatever whatever we, we want to dress her up with. I'm going to give her some lipstick because I feel like she just needs a little lipstick. Give her that little feminine touch. So we got little lips here. And when I did my original, and I don't know that there's a right or wrong way to do that, but I feel like I put it upside down on the original. Not that nobody probably noticed that until I just said it. <laughs> Somebody out there is like, I knew it. I knew that was upside down. But most people are probably like, oh, yeah, I see it now. So not a big deal. I also wanted to give her some eyelashes. So it looks like she's wearing a little makeup. So, oops, sorry, I just shut the black ink. So this is real red that I used here. We'll take the... So I've got just a tiny little, it's a, it's a tiny little eyelash. And just stamp that right over her eye. So now she's got a little, little makeup on. She's getting sassy. And now we can color in. So I'm using, um, for Stampin' Blends, some simple techniques here, and we will be coloring. Okay, you guys, I have to show you this. It's been sitting here. You're probably like, what is that sitting next to her? Can you see the shark? <laughs> I had to use this today just because I thought it was so funny. Hold on. I, I got I to gotta flip over so I can show this to you. This is a koozie. It actually came from Margaritaville in Key West. It's a little shark koozie. How stinking cute is this, right? So I was like, oh, it's shark week. We're doing sharks. <laughs> I got to use the shark koozie for my Diet Coke today. So, yes, I'm, wait drinking out of a shark oh and wait i've got one more funny to show you okay ready so when you're singing the song you know this the baby shark do 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 mommy shark you know okay so in our family we have one more that i added to the song and that is spencer shark do 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 look at his look at his little life jacket is that the cutest little thing oh my gosh he's so cute yeah he's our, our little our little beagle and he, <laughs> he will wear this because he knows that means that he gets to go in the boat. But so cute. He's got, I, I like to tell people we have our own little shark on the lake. And there he is, Spencer. So I'm going to sing it. I can't help it. Spencer shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled coloring program. I'm taking Smoky Slate. And oh, thanks. You guys, I can see you guys like the heart that like that too. I see the hearts coming. All right. So. The Stampin' Blend markers, these are alcohol markers, which is why I used Memento ink, because you want to make sure you use that um, so it doesn't, the ink doesn't run. And they're blending markers. We're going to do simple blending techniques on the shark today. So I'm going to start with the lightest and color in our shark. And then we'll just take a, they come in light and dark together. We'll just take the darker one after that. Okay, so I've colored her in. Oh, she got a little arm over there. We'll take that too. And then we'll take the darker of the uh, Stampin' Blends and just do a little bit of highlighting, kind of maybe on the top there. Maybe a little bit here. Not too much. We don't need to go overboard with the highlighting there. Just enough to make it really pop. 
All right, so Mommy Shark, she's all colored in. We want to do Daddy Shark, same way. Color him in with a light, smoky slate. I, um, I made these cards for swap cards. And uh, <laughs> Smoky Slate's probably one of my most used Stampin' Blend markers. So I think after I made like 50 swap cards, I was really pushing my limits on my my light smoky slate there it's 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 coming to an end i think it's time for a new one they're cheap enough though that that's okay i mean as compared to other alcohol markers they're fairly cheap and it's it's all right okay so here is our mirror image mommy shark daddy shark and then we'll bring baby shark in so we're going to call it baby shark and one thing i want to note when you're coloring with stamp and blend markers like this Make sure that you have scrap paper underneath you um, because they are the blends they're made to blend through although this one doesn't really there you can see it it will go through to the back i mean it's made to do that you want it to be nice and juicy that's what makes it blend so you want to make sure that you protect your workspace so we'll just give baby a little highlight there So stinking cute. This baby shark could also be a dolphin. I think you could make that a dolphin if you wanted to. All right, next up, let's take some. This is Flirty Flamingo. Just this, this one's just a really quick one. We're going to make her a little bow. We're going to make her a little girl this time. So go with the light and then a little dark. That's it. I'm not even going to blend that. That's all it needs. Just a tiny little bit. So now we have everything colored in with our Stampin' Blends. I am going to go ahead and cut out just the baby and the um, and the bow because mommy and daddy are fine. They're they're fine flat in their little mirror images for their family photo. And I'm going to bring in this guy. It's my favorite. This is the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, and it is now available in my online store. So if you are have been waiting for this. How's the time? And this thing is so adorable. I absolutely love it. Oh crap. I'm missing the, um, there it is. I'm missing a cutting pad. Where the heck did I put it? Ah, oh, darn. I've only got one cutting pad. I'm not sure what I did with the other one. I probably dropped it somewhere. Oh, but that means I get, that means I don't get to use the mini. I need that second one. Well, I guess we're using the large machine today. All right. Sorry, Minnie. <laughs> Your service here is done. I guess we're going on to the large one because I missed a piece. And I do like that we have a... This is... Um, little, and, little and big. You know, speaking of mummies and babies, we got the mummy board right here. <laughs> So I've got the platform that comes with it and thin die adapter, one cutting pad down, and we can go ahead and put our, our baby shark on there. And I'm going to take just some posty notes to hold it on there. I think we can cut both of these at the same time. So taking the dies that coordinate with the set and we've got, Look, there's a little tie in here. You probably can't see that. It's a little tie for uh, Daddy Shark or Grandpa Shark. or Just cute. Cute, cute, cute. Sometimes I, it's just cuteness overload and I can't help it. All right, so because these are, that one's really little, I'm going to put a post-it note down there to hold it steady. Same with baby. I'm going to get that on there. I'll put a post note over it just to hold it steady so that the, the dies stay on there. Cutting pad on top and crank that through. Then, when we're done, we've got Baby shark, do 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 do. All right, and we've got baby shark with a little baby baby bow on there. So now that we've got it all together, all we need to do is some assembly. So 
go ahead and um, put mommy and daddy shark on here. On uh, these are um, Knight of Navy frames. I have the dimensions on that free PDF so that you can cut them so that they're just an eighth of an inch larger than the than the, the white squares that are below it. So, mom shark. Daddy shark. And we'll attach one to a piece here for baby shark. We'll go ahead and put that on with the bow. I feel like needs the mini dimensionals because it's tiny, tiny. So the minis fit kind of good in there. And baby shark needs a bigger, bigger one on there. You know what else will be really cute with baby shark is the um, um, wobbler, the little wobbler that I put on the donkeys, the uh, Dominic the donkey. That would be super cute too. All right, so we've got Baby Shark. We've got a little bow on Baby Shark. I'm going to move her down a little bit. There we go. So cute, right? And then we've got this one all, all ready to go. So then we're going to go ahead and assemble the card pieces. So we've stamped the uh, pool party. We'll go ahead and line those up. So mommy and daddy are back to back. We're gonna put baby over here. So I'm gonna start with our top layer here. And we got, actually I'm not gonna press down on that just yet. I'll tell you why in a second. I wanna get them both on there lined up before I press down. All right, so. It's really tight. There's just gonna be a tiny little, like an eighth of an inch border around the Knight of Navy. So I didn't wanna press down until they were both together and I had them lined up perfectly the way I wanted them. And then we'll go ahead and do some snail on the back of the other two. And just some tips, you, when you first stamp your words, you wanna keep them kinda of low to the bottom here because there isn't a ton of space there for them. So you wanna make sure they're low enough that they don't get covered. All right, so we've got that all set and then we just need to attach, this is pool party. I'm putting it on some Knight of Navy frame to, to match the frames of the, the pictures, our family photos. And then we'll go ahead and attach that to the card base, which is Bermuda Bay. Again, measurements all on that free PDF. And then if you wanted to, because it is Bermuda Bay, I mean, Bermuda Bay is fairly light. You could write in that if you wanted to. But if you wanted to take it a step further, you could even stamp a little shark on here, color it in on the bottom, stamp some words, or just write them and put that on the inside to polish it off and finish it off. And our shark card is complete, super fun, super cute, right? Oh, I love it. I love these sharks. Again, there is a free PDF on the blog. Simply click on the resource page in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com and click on the videos. There's hundreds and hundreds of videos there for you. And if you are loving the shark frenzy, I mean, shark week will be coming, right? <laughs> Gotta love shark week. Here are some more ideas uh, using the shark frenzy bundle just to uh, show a few more things that you can do with it. Just absolutely adorable. And if you are an avid crafter, don't forget to check out the January Paper Pumpkin Kit. You need to subscribe by January 10th. It is Love is in the Air, and it's going to be a Valentine themed Valentine cards. But if you want to, you can also add on boxes. And the boxes are now available in my online store. So you can purchase those now. Be sure to subscribe by the 10th of the month. And don't forget that... Um, with my, when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin from me, you will also get free PPX videos, six alternate videos, in addition to my free one that I do on the blog that I do here. Um, so that actually makes seven alternate videos, but six of them will be exclusive to my subscribers and won't be anywhere else. And so uh, that's super fun. Well, that's the PPX program. And I also have a VIP club. So if you are interested in learning more, you have a big wish list, you want some of these products, click on the VIP, uh, 
tab on my stampwithtammy.com blog. It's super fun. I have lots of great giveaways for my VIP. They have specials all on their own. They have two free classes exclusive to them uh, from me each month, and they get about 20 bonus card projects. So, I mean, it's just all kinds of inspiration and ideas because I spoil them rotten. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future uh, video classes that I do uh, twice a week here on the StampWithTammy.com channel. So thank you and have a great weekend.